So here I have a Google form for an event that is happening sometime next month. Now when you create a Google form it is public meaning anyone who has the link of the form can just go there fill it and submit it. Now since we have not opened the event for registrations yet I don't want people to just go and fill this form. So I'll therefore go to the responses tab of this form and uncheck the accept responses checkbox meaning this uh, form is now closed for submissions. Now uh, this is a registration form so here's what I want to do with this form. Uh, first I want to schedule an open date so that it starts accepting responses only at a specified date and time. I also want to specify a close date so that when my event is over people should not be filling this form anymore. And finally uh, since the number of seats at the venue are limited I also want to limit the number of submissions. So for instance if my event can handle only a maximum of 100 people I want to automatically close this form when say 100 responses have been submitted. So how do I limit responses in my Google form? Now there's no such functionality built into Google Forms but we can do this with the help of add-ons. So to get started go to this URL on your screen. Now you can find this link in the video description as well and install the add-on. Now this add-on email notifications for forms is basically for sending emails to form respondents when they submit the form. But the same add-on can also be used for limiting form responses. Let me show you how. So I've already installed this add-on. I'll go back to my Google form and here I'll go to the add-ons menu. This looks like a puzzle icon and I'll choose email notifications from the drop-down. Now you're presented with a list of options so choose limit Google form responses from these options. Now this is where you can specify the conditions when this form should be opened and closed. So uh, first thing I'll do is I'll specify an open date for the form. Now if your Google form is already open accepting responses you can simply skip this section. And next I'll specify the condition when this form should be closed. So I can specify the exact date when this form should be closed. Uh, I can also specify the maximum number of responses that this form should receive before it closes automatically. Now please uh, do note that these dates and times are set as per the default time zone of your browser. I'll come to this recurring part later uh, but you can also customize the message that your users will see when they open your closed form. So I'll just put some text here. Now please remember that this message has to be in plain text because Google Forms do not allow rich formatting or HTML inside closed messages. You can however put line breaks and uh, links and emails in the message like this. So that's pretty much it. I'll click the save button and the form schedule is now automatically activated. Now when your form is opened or closed you will get an email so you're always in the loop what's happening with your form. And one more thing if you wish to change the configuration or if you wish to deactivate your schedule just go to the same menu and update your configuration. And if you want to completely remove the uh, schedule all you have to do is press this reset button and your schedule will be removed completely. Let me explain one more feature of this uh, module that will be specially useful for teachers and educators who use uh, Google Forms for creating quizzes and assignments. So what you can do is you can set up a recurring schedule and your form will automatically open and close on specific days during specific hours. Uh, the other important thing you should note is that these uh, open and close times may sometimes vary plus minus uh, 20 or 30 minutes of your expected time because of certain limitations in Google Forms add-ons. And while you are here I would also recommend Document Studio. Uh, this add-on helps you create beautiful PDF documents from your Google Form responses. 
You can find a link to download Document Studio in the video description as well. Thanks.